Okay, I'm just gonna say it right now. The new armor sucks. It just sucks. Why? Well, th this is the reason why. This is the full frozen Arcanium set along with other frozen Arcanium Arcsphere and Arcanium Arcmancer hat. These are all fire magic imbued. All of this took me a while to get. It took me like a few days to get. I got them. A f I got the armor pieces from trading, and my friend Axermis gave me the helmet. And it is literally worse than the armor that I had pre C with sunken iron armor. Now, why am I saying it's worse? What's the difference between the two? Well, you see. Armor, the way it's balanced in the game right now by the balance team is that there's something called efficiency points. The way efficiency points work is basically it's a stat that it resembles the balancing between all the different unique stats in the game. It's a stat to basically have something to base every other stat off of. Kind of like, let's say, money. So. We have the different values of items and they all go off of galleons. Galleons is the way you can value stuff. That's the same way efficiency points values uh, certain stats such as attack size or defense or power or drawback. That's how efficiency points work. And I did a lot of calculations. I've talked with some of the people on the balance court about it and literally the arcanium armor set full frozen against the armor set that i had with my like my pre number c with uh the sunken iron armor the difference between the two is literally 45 efficiency points 45 efficiency points is a ginormous difference between the two sets 45 efficiency points am i saying 45 Oh uh, yeah, 45 efficiency points is literally 45 substats worth of stats. That's 45 attack size, 45 attack speed, or 45 resistance, or 45 healing, or 45 at armor piercing worth of stats. In fact, that's also f basically 15 power, I think. Yeah. So 45 divided by 3, that's 15 power worth of substats. Or, where well, this gets a bit interesting, that is exactly 165 defense worth of defense for, for like with, with efficiency points. And that number is surprisingly close to the difference of defense I have in the build itself. And another really interesting thing is that all defense stuff prior to the Nimbus C update got buffed a 22% buff on all defense items. And that, if I do that 1.22 times 944, I also get a very similar number of 160 to 180, basically. By calculation, it's like 200, but like still, it's actually pretty close. It's like 40 defense off, which is actually like 10 efficiency points. So it, it either means two things. One, that either Arcanium Armor was, it started to have this much defense, which is like, which was based off of the defense prior to the defense increase of the update. Or two, it was probably just a mistake or a foresight that maybe the defense on all, all the new items didn't get buffed where they should have been buffed. Now, in the balance dock, it has been buffed. It has been buffed by 10%, which is not enough to, to fix it. Uh, the 10% literally only adds to the base armor or the base defense of the armor. The base defense of Arcanium armor is so stupid. The chest piece of Arcanium Armor only gives 64 defense. And the helmet and the leggings only give 48 each. All that combines to a whopping number of 160. 
I want to know how much that 10% adds. 16 per it adds just 16 defense. So 176. <laughs> so we're still missing basically 150 more defense from that. Like almost 100, it's basically 144 defense. We're still missing that much for it to be on par with Sunken. And that's why it's just, it's just overall worse right now. I did talk with some of the people on, on like the balance score thing. We would have had a discussion about it and like it's, it should be buffed. I think it definitely should be buffed. I'm just making this video here just so like everyone knows like right as of right now, the new armors are not worth it. Everyone has been asking me like, hey, what's your armor build? Hey, what's your armor build? Hey, what, well, how do you have 3000 HP? I had that because of drawback. Drawback just carries armor now. It's so powerful. And drawback is also much more usable now. So you should be using it. But that still doesn't make sense that if you don't have armor without drawback, it's the armor without drawback is practically pointless now. Like, it's just better. Drawback because it's just much, much better now. High drawback is still a bit more annoying, but still, it's just a lot more better. The region is still broken right now. So that's going to be fixed. As well as stuff like resistance is being nerfed next update. Same goes for armor piercing. It's being nerfed heavily next update. It's being enough for literally 50% on defense targets, which is, I, I support that because right now it's still too broken. But yeah, I'm just showing this video that um, armor sets are right now not the best, the new armor sets specifically. But a major thing that is a problem now is Arcanium armor or fighting cell armor isn't available to people who aren't magic, who aren't people who use magic or fighting cells. I'm talking about warriors. They don't have arcanium armor. What do they use? They don't have warrior armor. What do they use? They're forced to use sunken armor, which sucks for them, honestly. They're forced to use something which is like one of the more rarest armors you get in the game. And it's just for like a barely the same thing as other stuff. Yeah, they can use boss armor. But no one likes boss armor. <laughs> no one does. Um, it's such a... Warriors are in a bit of a predicament because of how well, Arc Spheres have been nerfed, obviously. You can use power amulets. That's... You have to use modified armor for a warrior, sadly. That's just how it is. Even Vitality gets their own Vitality sets. They get three sets. Warriors don't even get a set. They get Samurai armor. Which gives defense... And resistance that's it doesn't even give any other stat or power or uh attack speed or size or anything just that like it's just a punch to the face honestly for warriors so i feel bad but yeah uh the build maker website bobby newbie is working on it so please be patient about it it's being worked on endlessly by Wobby Newby. He he has exams. He's a student. Okay. He has he has a busy life. So just be a bit more patient. This update has changed building completely and entirely. And he's working on making it so that I or other people can just add armor pieces to the build maker endlessly and just anytime whenever the update happens or changes happen very easily as well. So just be a bit patient for it because it'll it'll be done soon trust me it'll be done very soon and yeah it should be out and it just should help you with building your armor sets because to be honest i spent so much time just building this one armor set without a build maker and it's not even worth it so i i also need the build maker website to make my new armor sets it's it's genuinely just like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, tell me if you guys want to see more, more other stuff. Like, I do stuff based off of comments now. And um, it's fun doing making stuff out of content. Like, out of the comments. Like, you guys suggest me stuff to make videos on. Or you guys need help in something. I make a video on it. And, yeah. I'll be making a Dark Sea tutorial video soon. Tomorrow is an update. Tomorrow is the official release of the Nimbus C. Where we're also going to get... Max like uh, remove the five player cap will be removed. It'll become fourteen players finally. Then we're also gonna get the Easter egg hunt, the Easter egg event, which I am excited for. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye.